Hello, my name is Phil and as you may or may not know, I have been doing some videos for you um, about phrasal verbs and my last video was about conditionals. Right. My last one was very long so I will try to be very short today. Okay, so let's go over this again. Again we have the name, the function, the first clause which is the if clause, the second clause which is the result and the example. Now also one of my children has given me this so I will use this very again. Okay, the name, the function, the first clause with the if, the second clause and the example. Alright, I will go back now to using the normal one. Okay, uh, yeah. what they call the zero condition because there is no condition. It's a general, it has, it has no condition, it always happens. Okay, and we're using the present and the present. So we can say if or when it rains, you get wet. It always happens. If or when water reaches 100 degrees centigrade, it boils. Okay, or when water gets to 100 degrees centigrade, it boils. Or when water goes down to zero degrees, it freezes. Okay, now the ones that usually come in the exams are these next three. Okay, so the first conditional is the probable. It's Probable or possible, it could happen, but you need a condition, okay? So, we have the present with the future. If you study, the, the case is, if you study, or if you study hard, you will pass the exam, okay? So, they're trying to encourage you. If you study hard, you will pass the exam. It's possible you will pass. Now, the second conditional is hypothetical. We use the past. And we use the conditional. Here's a past and here's a conditional. If you studied, you would pass. Now, some people are saying to me, what's the difference between the first and the second? Well, here it's probable. If you study, you will pass. Here it's hypothetical with the condition. The conditional is if you studied, if you actually studied, you would pass the exam. Now, people say, for example, uh, if uh, here, hypothetical, if you won the lottery, you would win a lot of money, okay? Or people say, if I won the lottery, I would buy a car, I would buy a house, okay? Now, it's hypothetical, it's not really probable. It's more or less improbable, okay? But there's a small chance you can do it. However, with this one, it's very probable. If you study, you will pass. If you go out, you will get wet, okay? Uh, but here it's more, it's more improbable. Now, let's go to the third conditional, past impossible. It's past, it's impossible because it's finished. It happened in the past. Past perfect with the perfect conditional. The if clause is the past perfect, the result is the perfect conditional. If you had studied, it's, you, had, you didn't study, the person didn't study. If you had studied, you would have passed, or you had passed, you would have passed the exam. Okay, if you had gone to London, you would have seen Buckingham Palace, for example. So these are the three conditionals. Now we have a, again a mixed the third conditional with the second conditional. This is a hypothetical impossible result. It's finished. It wasn't possible to do. It's finished. It's in the past, and we use the past perfect from the third conditional with the uh, conditional or the conditional continu continuous. Okay, and if you had passed the exam, if you had passed the exam, now you would be working, or now you'd be working here. Or well, a friend of mine gives me this example, if you had been born in Italy, now you would be speaking Italian, or now you would speak Italian, using the conditional. You would speak, using the conditional, or you would be speaking Italian, okay? Now, I always say, if you're doing exams, remember this. Uh, zero, present, present. First, present, future. Second, past, conditional. And third, past, perfect, and perfect, conditional. Or present, 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 future, past, conditional. Or past, perfect, perfect, conditional. As I said, if you remember those, and you see, for example, you see, uh, would pass, but this is blank, is nothing. You say, okay, this is the conditional, would pass, so we have to use the past, study. Okay? Or you see, if you had studied, you know that that's the past perfect, so you, need to, you, need, you know you need to put the perfect conditional, you would have passed. Okay? So remember these, especially if you're doing exams, remember these. Present, future, past, conditional, past perfect, perfect conditional. Thank you very much. I hope this is shorter and I hope this is easier to follow.
All right, thank you very much. And again, leave comments, put like, subscribe, and all that. Thank you very much. Bye.